Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Thanks. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So let's continue our uh, series and we will create a, an add new subcategory button under the add new category button. So that's what we created in the last uh, video. We can now add uh, categories into our database, like for example, food. This would be a main category, submit and it's uh, added. We will, we will see it because we will display it in, here soon. Okay, but today we, will, we want to create subcategories and connect subcategories to uh, our main categories. Okay, so in order to do that, we, we need to create our subcategory model. So let's jump into the terminal and let's create this uh, model controller and migration file with uh, PHP Artisan. So PHP Artisan make make a model and this would be subcategories okay and we want the migration file and we want the controller and we want the uh, resources inside the controller okay so hit enter okay so our uh, migration file controller and model has been created let's check it out in our text editor. Let's go for first for the to the migration file. So our migration file is inside the database migrations and as you can see we have new migration file for subcategories now. And basically what we want here we want to save a category subcategory name. So it would be it would be a string and let's call it subcategory name okay and we also want a slug for this uh, sub subcategory and we also want to make a connection between the subcategory and the main category so we need to create a table and we want to save the category ID inside this table so it would be unsigned big integer like this and let's call it category ID. Okay, so that's it for our database. Let's save it and let's migrate it into our database. Okay, so first of all, let's go to the local host PHP my admin. Let's select our database, which is a backlink app. And as you can see, we don't have any subcategories. We got the categories, but we don't have any subcategories in here. And we should see food, we just save this. Right, okay, so let's go back here and let's migrate this file. PHP artisan migrate. And we should see now our subcategories table here. Of course, it's empty, but we got the subcategory name slug category id okay so now we should create a form which first of all we should create a button which will take us to the uh, creation form where we where we can create add new subcategories okay so first of all let's create this button it will be easy we just basically uh, duplicating our existing buttons we can close this file now Okay, so let's go to the resources, views, and this button is uh, inside our home file. And this is basically the, the row and the button inside the row. So we just need to copy and paste it here. Let's uh, style it a little bit like that. And the route will be subcategory. And we want to the, go to the creation file and we want to add a new subcategory here. Okay, let's just save it. Of course, this will give us an error because we haven't created the route yet uh, to, this, uh, to this URL. So let's create the route 
and inside the web.php we basically need to again copy and paste this line and we just need to extend with the sub category like that we want to go to the subcategory controller and we will be using resources again so we will be able to access to the creation now let's create our uh, views to that so basically we already have a category folder and we want to create a new folder here with name of subcategory and we are creating now the create dot blade dot php i missed an e here so create dot blade dot php let's hit enter and it will be basically nearly the same like this so just paste in here and let's uh, change the text so we are adding a new subcategory and of course in our form we want the action to go to the subcategory controller and we want to store it it will be a post method again and let's call this uh, label subcategory and enter a subcategory of course uh, this will be subcategory name and if we have any error we want to get the error for the subcategory name okay that's done and when we would like when we submit the button should be submit the subcategory okay those should this should be okay now but uh, of course we need to add our main categories as a select field so we can select our main category and attach this uh, to our uh, subcategory okay but first of all we need to go to the um, controller well let's just add this uh, the selection I will copy and paste it here from the existing uh, project to speed this up but I will explain what we are doing here okay so we're just adding a new uh, input here which will be the select category and we will uh, for each loop through the uh, main categories so we will have a collection here with uh, all our categories and we will loop through each of as a category and then we will create options okay so let's just pass this uh, collection here uh, in into this uh, view so we need to go to app.http controllers and we have this subcategory controller here and we are doing the create method here now okay so basically what we want when we go to the create we want to show this uh, just a newly created uh, view so we need to return a view view is inside our subcategory directory and we want to uh, give back the create view so we're going to the sub subcategory folder and we want to grab the create file okay and uh, of course this wouldn't work because we have a variable here called categories which is not passed in into this view so if i save it now we will have an error as you can see we we haven't got uh, categories uh, here so we, we cannot uh, uh, for each loop through these categories because we are haven't passed it in into this view so in order to be able to pass in our main categories we need to import our category class and now we are able to grab the, uh, the categories from the cat uh, category table 
So basically it's just a get. And we need to pass in into our view. So we want to show this view with our categories and the variable name will be categories. Okay, so now if we don't everything correctly, we shouldn't see the error message now on our view. And yeah, it's working now. And as you can see, we have this uh, selection here. Uh, so we grab these uh, values from the database, internet, YouTube videos and foods. That's what we have here. And uh, basically we are get it from the database and pass it inside to this view. And uh, inside that view, subcategory, create the play the PHP, we for each, we doing a for each loop here and creating the option and the value will be the category, the main category ID and the name is the category name. So that's why we see the option called the main category, but when we select it, the value will be the category ID. So we can pass it to our uh, controller and we can save it into the database. So let's just try it out and see if it works. But before we do that, we need to create this store method inside our controller. So let's go to the controller and I will grab it from the existing project and I explain it. Uh, what it does. Okay, so we want to save our uh, data here. So basically it's uh, very identical to the category. We're just adding extra lines uh, because we want to uh, save our uh, category ID as well, as you can see. So what we are doing here, we are validating the request. So our subcategory is required. And uh, here we create a subcategory, a new subcategory, and we are saving the data from the request. So our subcategory and category ID will be the request category ID. And the category name, of course, will be the uh, subcategory name. I think that's how, how we call it, subcategory name uh, in our form. Yeah, subcategory name. And here is the category ID uh, in, inside this uh, select option. We want to create the slug as well. So let's just grab it from here. And we need to add it before the save. Okay, so let's make it sub. Category. I explained it in the previous video how we create the slug for uh, for each of category, and now we are creating the slugs for each subcategories as well. So we are creating creating our slugs from the subcategory name. And I have a typo here. It should be capital letter, and this will be subcategory where the subcategory slug and again where the subcategory slug okay so should be everything okay now we, right we haven't created this route yet so we are just going back to the home page basically just like we does uh, here, return redirect uh, home. Let's save it and see if it saves it into our database. Okay, so at the moment our subcategories are empty. So let's uh, refresh the page. Okay, and first would be food and the subcategory street food. And it hasn't worked because we should be redirected to the 
home page. So let's find out what is the problem. Here. Yeah, first of all, our uh, validation is failed, of course, because we haven't got any subcategory. We got subcategory name. So that's what we want to validate. Right, and of course, I don't want to get this now. Doesn't make any sense. Apart, apart from that, should be working now. Let's see. Hit refresh, add new. We select food, so our database is still empty at the subcategories part. And let's add the street food. We already have that here. And yeah, we are getting redirected to the home route. So it should be saved in our database now. Yeah, we have one entry here, street food, and the category ID is six, which should be the food. And if you check, yeah, our food category is under ID six. Okay, so it's working now. In the next video, we will show, <coughs> show all the categories and subcategories, and we will using Vue.js to do that. Similarly to our existing project. <coughs> so as you can see, we have nearly the same, uh, add a new category, add a new subcategory. And now we would like to show each categories and uh, inside the category name, we want to show the uh, subcategories. So gaming has these subcategories. So we will create it with Vue.js. Okay, so please subscribe and leave a like if you liked it. Thanks, bye.